All right, Matt, you have some good news for us. 70 degrees tomorrow? Is That's that, good. How, yeah, how does that enough. sound? That's a start on Friday the 13th, <laughs> good no less. Oh, you know, there's not enough going on. Oh, it's Friday the 13th tomorrow as well. But let's talk about maybe the chance of, yeah, a couple of showers tonight, but of course, the better chance for maybe some 70 degrees tomorrow afternoon. I think we can all enjoy that, especially as we wrap up what has been a very hectic work week outside right now. Yes, it's dry for the most part for the time being across much of the Delaware Valley. Yes, a couple of stray showers or so maybe working their way across South Jersey, but that's really about it. The rest of us not dealing with anything at all, just some gray skies as we go through the rest of the afternoon, getting ready to move into the early evening hours. But we're watching this area of precipitation, showers and thunderstorms rolling through Kentucky. This has now fired up a tornado watch for our neighbors down to the south and west across Kentucky, and that is going to continue to track eastward. And as it does, it's going to fade out in strength, but it still will allow for us, yes, to have some rain through the overnight hours tonight mixing in a few areas of downpours from time to time and even an isolated rumble of thunder. Really kind of early on Friday morning will be our best chance to see any kind of thunderstorm activity, maybe a couple of gusty winds mixed in there as well. And then this all kind of wraps up and moves away as we, as we head through the Friday morning hours and probably by tomorrow afternoon, we actually could even see a little bit of sunshine as our temperatures start to really kind of rock it up very comfortable for us. So tomorrow morning, this is 515 on Friday morning, starting to see that rain with that cluster of thunderstorm activity move in. Temperatures pretty mild even early, early on tomorrow morning in the 50s across the I-95 corridor, but you're already seeing there. Yes, some yellows and oranges popping up on future weather. That's our isolated areas of downpours. Yes, also that chance for a rumble of thunder or so as well. The morning commute, 715 or so. Again, temperatures hovering in in the mid to upper 50s, but you're going to be flicking the windshield wipers everywhere across the region from the Poconos down to the shore. If you are going to be driving around tomorrow morning, 9, 10 o'clock or so, the worst of the rain starts to fade away. Cold front does eventually come through in the early afternoon, but before it does, you see temperatures right around 130 or so in the afternoon, 70 to 71, maybe even as high as 72 degrees here in the city with some breaks of sunshine here or there, and we stay relatively mild even into the evening hours. Then it's going to be a windy one for us Friday as well. Wind gusts could be as high as 20 to even 30 miles an hour before the afternoon is all said and done. 72 degrees again for our high temperature tomorrow. We're looking seasonable over the weekend in the 50s. We could have a couple of showers maybe on Saturday night. That would happen generally south of the area. And then our next best chance for rain does come on St. Patrick's Day. Mm, all right. Not bad, though. No, not too bad. Thank you so much, Matt. <laughs>